my name is uh, Mwanaidi Mohamed Wanjiru. Uh, the Kikuyu in me is Wanjiru. Um, I'm a mom, entrepreneur. I can't say hotelier because I have other business apart from this. Started from home, started from my kitchen. I started selling my own dinner on uh, Instagram. So I'd post what I cook from uh, beginning to the end product when it's on the plate. And I'll get people DMing me where they can get that food, if I can sell to them, if they can send a rider to my house. That's where I started. Hunger was my first idea. I was so broke. Uh, my second idea was, I was around Kilimani, there was a need for Swahili food. So I decided to scout for a place, tried it with two stores, then I had to expand. Then a year later, I had to do another branch. Yeah. So we grew along the way. The name is Mama Nilisha. Nilisha is not any of my kid. Because that is what people assume all the time when Mama Nilishe, Mtoto wako anaitwa Nilishe, no. It's Mom feed me. So me na Lisha watu. Yeah, that's the whole concept. It's Mom feed me. Uh, kuna client wenye wanangojenga Mama Nilisha atokea hapo anashanga. Huyu slay queen. No, no, I'm not a slay queen. I just love looking nice. Yes, and I'm young, so I'm living my best life so far. I'm, I'm a young mom. Um, nothing to do with age. For people who didn't understand Mama Nilisha, the whole meaning, they came to understand later because they used to explain it. Siko shoka kila mtu bado anajua. Now, probably they're watching, they know Mama Nilisha means mom feed me. Yeah. Try and eat well. You may not have all the means now, but please eat well. So let me tell you something. This is my menu from my house. This is what I used to cook for my kids. This is exactly how I've coached every chef who has ever worked for Mama Nilisha. So I am the head chef apart from being the business owner here. So I'm a chef. So there's some maki wakupaka that used to be my, my kids' favorite. Pilau is every basic Swahili food. There's biryani here every Friday. There's chapati, maraguenazi, mbahazi. So those are the things that uh, we use, um, oh, I'm still cooking at my house, we say bread is too overrated, so we prefer making our own um, bread. bread, yeah, yeah. All the challenges uh, for me are lessons and growth. We've been through so many challenges that one challenge has had to give me a growth. We had challenge of space, made me expand made me open another branch. This place is nine months old only. So the other one is one year, nine months. So all of them I opened uh, the same date, same um, month. That was February last year, um, on 4th. Then I opened here February this year, exact 4th, yeah. So one year later, that one gave birth to this one. So one thing with me, I was born and raised in a Muslim family. We don't throw food. So normally what we do, we risk. We make a whole 20 kg of pilau, a whole uh, uh, 6 kg of chapati. So whatever we sell, that was meant for me. What we don't sell, we always share with um, either the ladies who are washing here, who are cleaning, the scaries outside will tell you, there's a car wash there. So that is where we donate our food. Same to Kilimani. We donate to the Askaris, um, the waiters carry takeaway home. Yeah. So me was raised if it was it is my uh, risk, we call it riziki. Kama riziki niangu niangu, kama ikwa yangu, it was meant for that person who ate that food that day. So that one keeps me going and I never feel like food me back here, tukona issue, no 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 no. Yo il kwa fa kwenda kwa yo wochi, maybe ha kwa na yo food. So that positivity that I always have has never bought me any we wake up again and risk it all again. Ikiisha hawakuwa leo na sapa, so that was meant to be mine. <laughs> My entrepreneurial journey was started as a single mom. I'm married now. 
but I was a single mom, so that was my only way. There was no, it was me or me. So the social media, I'm the one handling, and I have a friend of mine who uh, assists me as well. So I've been so consistent. There's no day you'll go to my page and found that I've not posted anything. So I push myself as much as I start pushing, because I know pushing is what will bring me the, the results. So challenges, I want to give up. Mm -hmm. The kikuyu in me will not let me. And what I had gone through will not let me uh, give up because I don't want to go there back. So what I try not to do is uh, for you to come and order for pilau here at uh, 500 and then tomorrow you come at 700. So the least I did was add 50 shillings when we had a lot of drama, the cost of living became too high, the suppliers became too high, so for us we felt the pinch. I only added 50 bob on all the menu and then uh, for me I always believe the more I sell, it's better I push it instead of having 10 sales per day because I've decided to add an amount in my um, menu. Rather than do, uh, I prefer selling 100 plates at 500 rather than doing 20 plates at uh, 1,000. You get, yeah. So for me, the more, the merrier. I prefer to malize to use yeah? Yeah. Um, another thing about um, pushing um, um, uh, or fighting the cost of living is um, we don't, um, we, we reduce a bit of, po of, of the portion rather than putting the whole mzigo to the client. You won't even notice because it's just, um, we reduce at least five plates to get one plate. Yeah. I pay myself my own salary as a CEO and uh, the content creator. Uh, so for business, it's strictly business. So I have my own salary, I don't have to meddle in my business. In case uh, I'll need funds for my business, I got myself, I pay my own salary. So. And most of the time I eat here. Or, so, majukumu si mingi sana. Majukulapu nalipa bill? Yeah, I pay bills. Oh, see it No, I pay bills. But it, 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 it comes from here and then goes to here. So. <laughs> I've, not, I've never been empowered. Ningependa kujuezo ma groups. So hapo ndakuwa na danganya. I've seen some groups, female empowerment. I've never been in any of those. Mia mahasla. So izo, izo, izo bado sijajua. Usiseme men are left out. It's wewe kujituwa mwenyewe. No one is left out. So you can't go and approach someone and tell them, yo, manze, unafau ufanye biashara na na. It has to come from you. It has to be always you. And then the, uh, why people are getting into business for wrong reason is because you want to do something that the other person is doing and the other person is getting a lot of money out of it. People forget to go and see the, uh, if there's need for that service that you want to, to start a business. If, um, if, if um, in a letter door, ama tunafanya for fun. Yeah, that is where you go wrong. Unajipata mse mefungwa biashara, mefanya for fun, and then now it has to go down because you can't fund it. So there are so many uh, reasons that people get into business with. And uh, if, you don't, if you're not passionate about what you're getting yourself into, 
now we have an issue. So for me, I've told you I have passion because first of all, I'm a chef. Yeah. So this is something that I love to do. And then in return, it gives me money. So I love it so much, the fact that I'm doing it and it gives me money. Tusha pata slave wins, so mi maliza kukula, chakula imeisha, imibakia mchele kidogo hivi kama mjiko tatu, waka tukaona nyuele, imitoka from nowhere. So it's, it's hard sometimes, especially when I'm here, it, I'm a bit soft, they say. So I let the manager or the supervisor handle. Jua tutaki drama, msia mikuja kona nja. Sazingine I try to understand. Uyu msia na mikuwa na nja, mikuja kukos drama. We don't want drama. Just cut half of her bill or do, do, do we serve you another food? Now that's when you know there's drama. Because someone who uh, wants mwenye um, kona ishu unataka kumusavi ya food ingine, they'll definitely say yes. Uwa meshiba, anasema tuwa pana. Ni drama za kawaida tunaface kwa hotel industry. I'm sure so many people face that budget. It's one of the challenges we are used to. But it doesn't happen um, sana sana. Mama Nilisha will not end in Nairobi. So uh, Kilimani, Lovington, I want to do Tika Road, I want to do Mombasa, I want to do out of Nairobi. Um, but I'm not planning to open other branches on my own because uh, right now I'm doing it on my own. I'd love to do a franchise. Yeah. So when you go, you see, when you go to Mombasa, there's uh, there'll be Mama Nilishe, I'll be the management. So I'll, sh I'll coach all the chefs. Now, this is my dream, that is. I'll coach all the chefs, we'll do the same thing same plate, same food, same quality. Uh, owned by someone else who's interested to partner with Mama Nilisha. So for me, it's just partnering and franchise right now in terms of hotel. But other businesses, I'm still venturing in other businesses that I love. The spice business has only one week to launch. It's the same spice that I use here. So now we have clients who ask for menu, for, for recipes, where they get uh, uh, the biryani masala. So. I'm the one making the spices here. So I decided why not spread my wings and make money out of it. Everything has its own timing in my life. So when it's business, it's business. I have a specific day on Sunday where I spend time with my family. I don't pick calls, even if there's an emergency at Mama Nelisha. So I always uh, make sure that I have time for family, time for business, and time for friends. So after here, probably it's time for friends. I love um, uh, getting to know other people because I love networking. Either way, I make sure all the people that I meet, we must have something that we will help each other with. If not connection, if not you, then you have a connection that will help me. I also have a connection that can help you in a different way. So those are the kind of friendships I keep nowadays. what you love like i say usiingie kushona viatu kwa sababu unasikia viatu iko na do ama usiende kuuza nguo juu best yako iko na nguo find a purpose you have must you must have a goal first the goal will be what do i want what do i what am i comfortable what are my strength focus on what uh, where your strength are rather than focusing on where the money is also biashara iko wangi if you utafungua and then in 2 3 months you get your money you have to nurture it like a kid Consistency. Consistency is very, very important. We start with the supplies. Manza, the food has gone so high. If tuneza shukushiwa food, ita kwa poa kwa biz cause, you see now food will be cheaper for someone to, uh, to always buy on a daily meal. So expecting a uh, size of supply may be high, we don't expect people to eat in restaurants every single day, yeah? That is a bit extra baggage on them. Where's in gear up kule food leo tao, kesho tao? If you're a hustler, it's gonna pinch your mini. So, ikituru diseta kwa poor for both us and our consumers.
so right here we are at uh, Mama Nilishe, uh, the Lovington branch, which is in uh, Gitanga Road, yeah? Just exactly opposite Quick Mart Lovington, where we do deliveries, we have dine-ins, we have office deliveries, we do catering as well. Also, there's another branch in um, Mall 66, which is opposite Adlife Plaza. Yeah, same service. We have delivery, we have Instagram handle, where I post food all the time and clients. See clients work to Patiama Kesi, we ask for your concept before we post. Yeah. Our social media platform is Mama Nilisha. On uh, Instagram, TikTok, we are opening uh, Twitter soon because I had this business there also. So there's Mama Nilisha on uh, Instagram and uh, TikTok only for now.